But you know what else is keep on? You know what else keeps on changing, Raul? What keeps on changing? Kevin? These goddamn Marvel dates for all these movies, Raul. <gasps> they keep on changing. Marvel My changes God. release dates for Blade, Fantastic Four, Secret Wars, Deadpool Three, and probably like seventeen other projects that they've got <laughs> in mind for Disney and Marvel. What is the deal? I know exactly what the deal is. But first, let me read this article for you guys, and I'm gonna get right into it. And and Raul, you gotta tell me what you think of this. Sure. Okay, here we go. So, Deadline tells us, Blade, the vampire pick starring Mahersha Ali, is currently in search of a new director following Basim Tariq's departure. It is now set to open September 6, 2024, having previously been slated for November 3rd, 2023. Among that changes, among the changes, the as-yet-untitled Deadpool threequel has moved from September 6, 2024 to November 8th, 2024, with Fantastic Four bumped from that latter date to September to February 14th, 2025. Previously set for November 7th, 2025, Avengers Secret Wars, the first of back-to-back -back movies in the Avengers series, will now debut on May 5th, 2026, as untitled Marvel, an untitled Marvel pick set for uh, February 14th has been pushed to November 7th, uh, 2025, with another having been removed from the schedule after being set for May 1st, 2026. This all started this is all a domino effect because of Blade. Like, of course, we've, we've talked about this. We, we it's last month we reported on the yeah the B Basam Tariq leaving. Yeah, they couldn't. It, it, oh, I'm trying to find my words here. <laughs> In the beginning, I just I did just read here that Blade. You know, it's they they've had to get a new director, and that's the reason why they're pushing it back. We know that's not the case. They're changing the writing. The script needs to change too. And that takes time. That takes mm -hmm. so much time. So the fact that, you know, they're trying, you know, I, I guess not not to bash Deadline. Deadline's just doing their job. They're, <laughs> they're reporting it as it's the director. That's the reason why they got to change it. I mean, it, that's it's so much more than that. Sorry, go it, ahead, Ro. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. No, I, I mean, partly because they do have to hire a new director and that's not something they can just do, you know, in a week. You know, or they definitely can't do that before um, November when they were originally supposed to start shooting in November this year. Um, it's a yeah, it's a two handed problem. You know, you've got, yes, of course, not just the director leaving. You got to find a new director. But clearly, if the reports are true that a lot of the issues of this movie had to do with the script, the script needs to be reworked. And so, yeah, like you're saying, the writers or I don't know who knows if they're going to replace the writers or have the same writers kind of go back to the drawing board. But this is all going to take time. And, of course, we did report on this last week about the director leaving uh, the Blade movie. And at the time, we were like, there's no way. They, they're going to push it back. You know, they're going to. There's no way they can get all this uh, fixed in time before, you know, they start going before the lens, before they start shooting. Um, mm -hmm. And, of course, that's what ended up happening. And, of course, another thing we speculated on, it was, you know, if they end up pushing back Blade... Do you think they're going to push back a whole bunch of other projects? And we speculated on that saying, yeah, I mean, that's absolutely it's, it's it's because of the interconnectedness of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This is kind of collateral damage of, of that happening. You know, if one domino falls, all the other ones fall. And of course, that's that's basically what we've got here is uh the, yeah the 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 following the, the reporting later on is that yeah they're going to shift uh, Avengers Secret Wars, Fantastic 4 and Deadpool which is interesting because they had just announced the the release date for Deadpool. Uh, yeah. Which I was just... originally what it was originally September 6, 2024. Now it's going to be November 8, 2024, which is just a couple months difference. But still it was just so interesting how like they had just announced this release date and then a couple of weeks later, they're like, oh, yeah, we're going to push it back. Yeah. So this just speaks to as much as I enjoy the interconnectedness of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This is kind of we're starting to see the results of of what can happen if if a link in the chain uh, breaks. Right. Mm -hmm. And this is one of those things. This is kind of what happens when you rely too much on the interconnectedness of things is everything is so related. So if one project falls through you got to push all the other ones, you know, because it's not going to make sense narratively. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is just one of the the unfortunate results of that. And, and you know, it's kind of hard. It's it's one of those situations uh, where it looks like, well, we've talked about it before, Kevin Feige, he's being spread thin. So this is probably one of the reasons why, the, you know, the, the, he wasn't 
uh, as hands on to kind of oversee the quality of, of things like the script and all that stuff. So, of course, we just we speculated on it, and it turns out that's that's the case. And yeah, dude, I never believe Kevin Feige when he first shows us release dates for anything. Like, oh, yeah. I, at this point, There's precedent for th- shift, da- shifting dates. Yeah. Yeah. At, at this point, I think Kevin Feige should just never reveal release dates and just say coming soon <laughs> to a theater near you or a Disney plus screen near you. You know, it's fine if you just give us the names of the movies from now on, Kevin. Like, it's yeah. listen, like I, that's at this point when you give us the hype and say this is coming out next year. And then you, it doesn't come out next year, then why even hype us up in the first place about right. it? Also, let me just point out, Blade was supposed to come out a year from right now. Like, it's it's about to be November right now. If you're listening uh-huh. to this, it's probably Halloween night or Halloween day, or it's November. And it was supposed to come out on November 3rd, 2023. Mm. That's insane. That's yeah. insane. Like, you, you could see how much time they have to crunch in just to get this movie done. They were supposed to start filming in november this is crazy there's no way they could have done this in time it was supposed uh, to come out november 2023 and then now it's shifted to september 6 2024 that's almost a whole year yeah oh a whole yeah. year delay that's it's insane it's insane how much more time they've pushed it back to however let's look at the upside of this right raul all right because mahershala ali's project has to get pushed back that means every other director and producer and blah, 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 actor gets more time to work on their other movies that are that have been pushed back. That's true. And all oh. the all the visual effects artists. <laughs> Dude, the VFX artists must be like, oh, thank God. I've thank been you, seeing Jesus. Yeah, people on Twitter and like memes and stuff like that. You know, they're all the visual effects artists like, oh, my God, thank God. Jesus. Dude, like that's we're talking Deadpool, Fantastic Four, freaking Avengers, Secret Wars and literally every secret project that they've still got in line. They've mm-hmm. just been given so much amazing amount of time to keep working on their stuff. So here's to hoping, fingers crossed, Michael Waldron, you're writing Secret Wars. This is your time, man. Remember how you didn't have time for Multiverse of Madness? Now you've got extra time, baby. Extra, extra time to work on, on this freaking Secret Wars movie. Yeah. So it better be good. <laughs> I guess, yeah, that is the upside, isn't it? Like now all these projects have more time to kind of develop and and hopefully there'll be better projects because of it you know yeah exactly so here this we saw this coming we saw this coming as soon as we heard about the director leaving blade i'm raising my hopes up far too much though because now that i'm getting myself excited thinking oh then they'll be better quality right if they're not better quality and they end up being bad movies you guys just made us sit and wait an extra year for this movie to be bad? What? <laughs> what is going on right now? We'll see. You've got time. You've been given time. I'm also hoping that now these other projects have more time. Now there's more time for Kevin Feige to maybe take a little bit more time with each of these projects and maybe be a little more hands-on. We'll see. Do you think Kevin Feige this year or next year is going to announce that he's got a co-chairman now with him to help him out? I mean, I feel like he should. The thing is, he's got two other people underneath him, Victoria Alonso and, um, oh my goodness, who's the who's the other guy? Victoria oh. Alonso and uh, Louis D'Esposito, Luis yes, D'Esposito, yes. I believe. Yeah. Um, these are kind of his two, uh, you know, right-hand people. Um, so I'm just wondering, where are they in all this? You know, why are, are they... Is Kevin Feige delegating to these people? And, you know, I, I, I will admit, I'm I'm kind of ignorant of, of how the structure works between Kevin Feige and these two. Is, you know, if Kevin Feige can't be around all the time, where's Luis D'Esposito and Victoria Alonso? Like, how are they managing all this stuff and and where are they in all this i don't know it's it's baffling to me that's a it's a good point because also for all we know we look at kevin feige and we put all the responsibility on him because that's how he's marketed himself that he's mm-hmm. the showrunner of everything and so when you look at james gunn and his buddy like they're a split working together kind of pair you know like mm-hmm. they 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 separate the job and they work together so that's how they're marketing themselves so yeah for all we know there are multiple other people working behind the scenes with these people but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you look at Kevin Feige. Yeah, at the end of the day, where are they? And also, Kevin Feige 
he is the head. He anything he says goes. Like there's nobody else that can question him now. He's he's the guy. Like yeah. he speaks directly to Bob Chapek at Disney and says, "This is what we're doing." Mm. Okay. Or you know, I I like to assume that's how it is, but really Bob Chapek kind of has more control because he's he's on top of Kevin Feige. Right. Um, but yeah, I I think I think this is. Good news and bad news at the same time, but also not shocking news at the right. same time. We knew um, as soon as we had heard it. So, guys, what do you guys think about all this? Please send us your thoughts at realgeeknews at gmail.com because we would love to hear your opinions. We could read them on the show for you. and For you know, any of these topics we've discussed. Any of these topics, honestly, because this is the kind of stuff we, we love talking about this stuff, as you can tell. And uh, if you guys have any thoughts, theories, opinions, like, please let us know because we will gladly discuss them on our next episode if you guys want us to. 